Well, hi everyone. Welcome to our second edition of Tennis Talks, a place where we bring together and share information, recognise and celebrate the fabulous work our tennis community do for our great sport and generally chat about the current state of the game with the people who are at the front line. This is a first-hand look and an opportunity for all of us to learn, continue to develop and evolve as a sport and we do that by hearing from people at the source. Our conversation today is with Alison Scott. Now, Alison is the newly appointed State Development Coach for Inclusive Tennis. Thanks for joining us, Alison. Hey Mark, how are you? Good. Um, Alison, this is a new role for Queensland. Uh, what's your remit um, and what excites you about the opportunities for inclusive tennis in Queensland? Okay, so coming into this role, which I pretty much touched on uh, previously over the last few years, especially in the space of ID, is uh, basically uh, discovering and developing talented players with disabilities and creating squads where they can come and train uh, together not only that, but also trying to develop some squads throughout Queensland um, in line with the National Development Zone squads and eventually having our players uh, training alongside those squads and where we can integrate, uh, which I find really exciting because I know that our players, our ID players uh, in the past have really been looking for this opportunity and, and have worked hard for that opportunity. So it's just so exciting to see it come to fruition. So what have you discovered since uh, you've started the role and um, uh, are you unearthing a level of talent or are you a little bit more focused on growing the participation base first? Yeah, well, after delving into a few different areas where these uh, there have been some players coming out of the woodwork, which is really exciting, um, creating some new uh, opportunities for junior players with a disability, uh, especially with the vision impairment, which is a new space. Uh, deaf, hard of hearing, which is also, a, you know, not really a new space, but trying to discover some new talent in that area. You know, trying to find some uh, wheelchair tennis players, some juniors, and getting them on board, and and um, you know, and also discovering new ID players. I mean, we've been really fortunate in the last 12 months to discover two new junior players in the ID space, and. You know, it's quite an exciting story, especially with, with regards to Luke, who sort of rocked up at a tournament last last year. And within 12 months, like, like he's, he's basically was invited to play on the Australian team this year, which is um, which was phenomenal. And yeah, I, I hear quite often from parents, you know, do you know you've changed our child's life, which is just so, so rewarding to hear that. and so exciting for that child to, and to, you know, have something to look forward to and something to strive for, which is beautiful. Well, we've got some fabulous role models, haven't we? We're fortunate enough to have um, Archie Graham and Mitchell James in, as an example in that inclusive space. So um, how important um, are players like Archie and Mitch in, in driving and helping to um, develop the interest in the sport? Oh, Archie and Mitch have been wonderful and, and same with uh, a lot of the other players on our team like Damien and Joshua and and Kelly Wren and Carlo, you know, they've been so great uh, with our new, new you know, players coming in and, you know, they are so supportive of, of what we do and, and they know firsthand uh, what it takes to become a champion and for them to be able to, um, you know, relay, you know, how they have done that and why they have done that has been fantastic. Uh, Archie and Mitch are, you know, always there to assist with our new juniors coming through and to, to offer them some support, be there to hit with them and, you know, share their experiences. So for them to be a part of this process is just, you know, unbelievable. Well, keep up the great work. Uh, we look forward to seeing those numbers grow across the state. Um, and for everyone's um, info, Alison's available uh, at Tennis Queensland if you have um, uh, want to know a little bit more about creating a come and try day or just need some advice uh, in the inclusive space. And as always, feel free to contact the staff at Tennis Queensland if you need extra support or have an idea that might help the whole of tennis in the state. We'll see you next time on Tennis Talks.